Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. Y'all know the channel is Step Snails for this world. And yes, I've been gone for a long time. But I was busy, y'all, just trying to live life, do life, and be about life, you know? So, I put it to the back burner, but I thought I wanted to talk about something today. So, I said, now I'm just going to express my opinion on my YouTube channel, okay? Dust some of the cobwebs off, dust it up a little bit, and get back here on my channel, okay? Can't say how long I'm going to be here. You know, I'm sporadic. I go here, I go there, or, you know, anywhere. But anyway... I thought the women of Housewives of Atlanta had stopped feuding, but it seems like they pick it up one day, then they put it down, pick it up and laying it down with the insults they making back, uh, calling themselves friends instead of being called co-workers, how Nene had said she wanted to put it out there, but maybe she's just doing it for the uh, dramatization, uh, you know, the ending of season 11. And trying to, you know, think about what she's going to do this time for her storyline. And thank God it won't be um, it being total centered on Greg and her and the cancer and all this, that, and the third. Blessings to him and his family that he definitely got over the cancer spell. He's cancer free. And I hope he continues to do well. Okay. Hope nothing comes upon Nene and she has to go. And make a storyline about all her bad health. Because we all suffer in some form of fashion. Somebody in our family suffering from some type of illness. Or we're suffering, you know. But to just make it a tagline or a storyline for a whole season. A little bit too much, okay. But anyway, we're moving on from there. Uh, but just got a story from, what was it, Hollywood Life. They said Nene is putting down her sword. And she's trying to... Uh, repatch some friendships of her co-workers. I kind of like them being co-workers to tell you the truth. That kind of symbolize, sim what do you call it, symbolize everything. You know, because they can't be real friends in life. You know what I'm saying? It's like they have to tape together to get their money, you know, adding up into their bank accounts. And it's not something like you see them on the run and here in Atlanta and, and out in the social events. It's just like they just tape for filming and that's it. So I was like, yeah, she should have kept that. Co-workers, that fit, that fit them or uh, fitted them well than saying they're friends. Because they ain't friends. Let's be realistic. They're not friends. None of them. But anyway, all of them are trying to do their own thing. And I thought I'd just talk a little bit about Nene talking about she's going to stop feuding with Candy. And she wanted to invite Candy to come to her Washington, D.C. store that she's opening up with Swag Boutique and Candy couldn't come because I guess she's on her dungeon tour thing and, you know, she got to be where the money at, where it's lucrative for her. But she was just ecstatic that Nene would even send her an invitation. And everybody know Candy do try to go to everybody, you know, little events here and there and, you know, just show a face and get her filming time in. And it's cool. But my opinion is, just be co-workers. I like y'all better at co-workers than friends because, you know, if y'all got to act like that and y'all calling yourself friends at one point, I hate to see y'all enemies. I really do. I hate to see who y'all enemies are. But anyway, we go on to this little article they wrote up from Hollywood Life. The title was Nene Leaks Invites Candy to Store Opening After Feud. Like, that wasn't no feud. That was just a, a aftertake of the season in of season 11. Nene got to get rid of everybody just to boost the rating so she can come up in her pay scale for that next season, okay? There will be no Nene and no Housewives of Atlanta. The two just have to go together. I don't care. I know y'all don't like it. I know, but Nene really makes the show. <laughs> Between her and her sidekick, Marlo, they keep bringing the drama and they're defending the drama. But anyway, it says Nene Leaks invites Candy to store opening after feud. They're ready to be on the same page. They're ready to we see each other again. You know that little thing they had in one reunion when Nene said, I see you. And Kat said, I see you. We see each other, okay? All right, whatever. But anyway, they go on to say the long and terrible war is finally coming to an end. Nene Leaks is ending her huge feud with Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Candy Burris. A little bit at a time. And their relationship is almost back to normal. Nene actually invited Candy to the opening of her MGM store in Washington, D.C. on May 17th and gen genuinely hoped she, she would attend. A source close to the cast told Hollywood Life exclusively. 
While Candy didn't go to the party, she was honestly happy to hear from Nene and to be invited, the source shared. Candy, Candy's proud of Nene and she's always likes, she always likes to support her friends. Co-workers is a better word, but anyway, all right, she says friends, even if her friends have beef with each other. Nene hasn't been getting along with most of the Real Housewives of Atlanta's cast, and as Candy recently explained, it's likely because she was upset that they invited Kenya Moore to one of the Cynthia Bailey's parties. As Real Housewives of Atlanta fans know, Nene and Kenya, a former cast member who had been on the show for five seasons, never really got along. Nene started sparring with her co-stars and uh, followed them on social media. Well, to me, it's just like Kenya was a little threat to Nene. She was getting uh, quality time, uh, uh, air time, and she was just showing and twirling all over the place. And she could throw a little shade here and there. But uh, I ain't never seen nobody throw no shade. I'm kind of off topic right now. I was watching the Jefferson show, you know, Louise Jefferson and George Jefferson and the mama. Now, that's one lady that was throwing shade left and right, and you could do them but laugh. That woman could throw some shade. I've heard a lot of people be beefing on YouTube when they call themselves throwing shades and reading folk. But y'all go take a look at the Jeffersons. I might start doing some episodes on them because Mother Jefferson be reading you up and down. <laughs> she be reading you up and down, and you can't even catch it, and you don't even know you got shaded until you realize what she had just said. You had to do a retake of your mind. That's hilarious. I was watching this, you know, um, some past weekends ago, and I was just tickled pink. I said, these people don't know how to read. Mother Jefferson know how to read, okay? They had to read and going back over in the 60s and 70s, and we just catching up to it now. Anyway, moving on. Let me go back to this uh, this little storyline or article they wrote up on uh, these two people. Uh, so she felt like that was an attack against her, which it wasn't. Candy told too fab on May 19th, but it's all cooling down and Candy couldn't be happier that her friend is feeling better. Candy never understood why Nene was so upset with her in the first place. And since filming began soon, she was happy to go to get back on the same page. Our insider said she knows Nene's been through a lot with Greg, who Candy adores and was so happy to hear he's cancer free. She's hoping that they'll be able to move past whatever this was and that this will open up the door for moving forward in their long-standing friendship. As for the other women, Nene still hasn't called the truce. <laughs> she ain't gonna call no truce because that's what she do. She got to start war. Please, will y'all ever learn that? Don't take sides. Just enjoy whoever's giving you the best take of the day or the best taping of that episode. That's all y'all gotta do. Don't pick no favorites because somebody's gonna upset you, okay? And it's not real. These beats are not real. These people are just making money, entertaining us, mindless entertainment, mind you. But sometimes I guess we need that because we get so thumbed down with the world and our own issues and problems. We just want to last sometimes. Okay. Then we go on to say in this uh, story article, if Nene invites, wait a minute, if Nene invite isn't enough proof that she's ending her feud with Candy, the fact that she publicly wished her a happy birthday, might do the trick. Nene posted a goofy pic of herself and Candy together in Happier Times on Instagram and captioned it, Happy Birthday at Candy. This is my absolute fave pic of us that I've always loved to post. It describes our relationship perfectly. Hope to see you tonight. Yep, they're, they party all night to celebrate Candy's 43rd birthday. So that was it, y'all. But I'm like, y'all be, believe the hype if you want to. But there's no beef going on. They just raring it up for the new season, season 12, to come in and everybody be hunky door and, you know, this, that, and the third and just getting us to be into them again. But that's all I got, y'all. Talk to y'all soon for something else later on today, if I feel like taping. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share.